Today we're going to play around with W3 Total Cash a little bit more and tweak some of our settings. Uh, specifically, I'd like to focus on the Minify setting. And uh, I was playing around with this the other day on, on another site, trying to uh, improve a little bit on my Weiss low score here and was able to do some things that had a drastic improvement on my site load time. First things first, let's take a baseline of our performance on, on my site. And I just got done running this uh, related to my, my personal blog. And you can see the page speed score is sitting at a C and the Y slow score is sitting at an E, which is just horrible. And if I, I'm not overall concerned with page speed, well, 78 is not good. And by, by doing some things with the Minify, it's going to improve that. But what I really wanna do is, is see what I can do to this Y slow score here. And if I tab into, or go into the Y slow tab, you'll see uh, this make fewer HTTP requests is sitting at an F. And if I expand that, it's going to tell me I've got 33 external JavaScripts and another ex six external style sheets and try combining them into one. And, and so that's what we're going to do and W3 Total Cache will allow us to do that. So if I go into my WordPress dashboard and I've already, I already have W3 Total Cache installed, but what you'll want to do if you don't have that installed, go ahead and install that plugin now. Uh, and once it's done, you'll go into your performance tab and click on the general settings tab, which is where I am currently at. And I'm not going to touch on these other settings, but if we scroll down and look at the Minify settings here, this is where we will start with things. And you can see it, it calls out reduce load time by decreasing the size and number of your CSS and, and JS files. The thing I wanna point out is this can get really finicky, um, especially when it comes to the JavaScript files. And if you're not careful, it will break your site. Uh, so anytime you touch the Minify settings, you want to be very careful and check out your blog after each of the tweaks you make just to make sure everything is displaying properly. So the first thing we'll do is we will enable this. And in the Minify mode, we want to set this to manual. And you can leave everything else at their default settings. Hit your save settings and purge caches, let it do its thing. And then what we wanna do is come down within the W3 total cache settings and go to the Minify section and you'll have different sections within this. So let's let's talk about each one of these. Rewrite re URL structure. You want to enable that. Disable Minify for logged in users. Keep this unchecked. And let's scroll down here to HTML and XML. We want to enable the Minify settings for HTML. And for each of the other settings, you want to tick inline CSS minification, inline JS minification. You can keep the don't minify feeds unticked and tick the line break removal. And as far as the ignored comment stems, you can just leave these at their, their defaults. JS minification or minify settings. Um, this one always makes me a little bit nervous um, cause like I said earlier, it can break your site, but so let, let's enable that. And what I like to do is click on combine only. So what, what this will do is, is combine all of your JavaScript files into one file without minifying them. I, I found in the past that minifying JavaScript has had a tendency to break my site. So I, I kind of shy away from that. And you can leave the um, embed type as, uh, well, you can tweak these. In my case, I'm going to go with non-blocking using async for all three of the operation areas. 
in the file management you will collect you will select your current theme that you're running you've got a little drop down here for the for the different themes so you want to select the the current theme and as you can see there is a an area here where you can add uh, the appropriate JavaScript files and we'll come back to this in a, in a minute and then if I scroll down to uh, CSS we want to enable CSS you also have the option to combine them only if, if you don't want to minify your CSS CSS is not quite as picky so I'm not concerned with with minifying so we'll leave this unticked uh, and you want to ensure you've got the line break removal ticked as well for import handling select process and again you'll see you've got your CSS file management which uh, you'll select your current theme and you also have the option of selecting what uh, what files you want to uh, so do a save all settings it will take you back to the top of the page here and what you want to do right now is if you look down here at the bottom of the messages you'll see a message that says to rebuild the minify cache use the empty cache operation get minify hits using the help wizard so we want to use the help with wizard and what this will do is it'll go through your site and identify the different JavaScript files and CSS files that your theme is currently using and by selecting the appropriate files here it will import them into the section down below that we just were, were talking through where you can manage your, your different files you'll, you'll see a section for JavaScript and then if you scroll down here you'll also see a section for your CSS um, so let's let's look at JavaScript and this one always makes me a little bit nervous I am NOT going to touch the standard JavaScript files I'm just going to leave those alone because again JavaScript can be a little bit picky I am going to add the two files that are related to my theme I'm going to leave that one alone jetpack I, again I, I get a little bit nervous when I'm dealing with JavaScript files that don't have anything to do with my my theme uh, so I, I, I have a tendency to leave those alone so the only two that I, I really want to focus on are my my theme files here and I want to apply that to all all of the templates within my theme file and then if I scroll down to CSS I've got four different files here not as concerned with CSS so I am going to select all four of them and hit the apply and close and what you can see here is if we go down to the sections that we were in below you'll see it brought in the two JavaScript files that I wanted to deal with as well as my four CSS files so we're, we're set there you want to save settings and purge caches and let's take a look at the site just to make sure nothing is broke and I have uh, my site up here I'm going to go back to the home page refresh here and just take a look at my home page everything looks pretty cool I'm going to click on one of my posts got my ads here text looks good top post categories scroll through here so everything looks okay doesn't look like I broke anything and then let's go back to GT metrics here and take a quick look at uh, what our previous score was so remember here I had 33 external JavaScripts six external style sheets and I was getting an F here my score was 78 and 59 with a page load time of 3.9 seconds and we want to do a quick retest here we may need to do this twice just to ensure that the uh, cache is being properly loaded 
but let's see what it comes back with here. And as you can see, the, the scores went down 77, was 78, 55, was 59. Page load time was 3.9 and went up to 4.4. Again, I think that's related to our, our browser cache. We're going to retest it again. All right, quite a bit of improvement here. We went from a 78 to an 87. Our Y slow, we went from a 59 to a 72. Page load time stayed the same. Uh, and if I go to my Y slow, you'll see I think I had a zero. I thought it was a, oh, it was, it was an F before. It's still an F at 16. And you'll see the uh, external, sh external style sheet guides have uh, all been combined, so I'm not getting a message here. I believe I had 33 external JavaScripts here before. Uh, I'm at 24 now. So definitely went down. We saw an improvement here. And we can continue to play around with this to see if we can improve it. So let's go back to our, our Minify tab here, which we're on. Um, CSS was cool. So we combined everything that we wanted to do here. JavaScript, I only focused on these two JavaScript files. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to the help wizard. Here's my files again. Uh, let's, I'm gonna leave the jQuery files alone. I don't know if I wanna deal with the Amazon ad system. Jetpack, not really sure what this one is. WP Embed, let's try it. Let's try this one. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. And let's try that. So we're going to apply and close those. You'll see under our JavaScript, we added a number of new JavaScript files. So let's save settings and purge caches. Again, I want to go back and look at my website. We'll go back to the home page, reload, take a quick look here, make sure we're not breaking anything. Looks cool. Let's pick another post. Looks good. Um, let's go back to GT Metrics again. So remember we had an 87, 72, 3.9 second load time, and we had an F grade with a 16 under make fewer HTTP requests with 24 external JavaScript files. So let's do a retest again. Wow, drastic, drastic, drastic improvement. Page speeds all the way up to 96. Y slow is at 80, 1.2 second page load speed. And if I look at Y slow here, make fewer HTTP requests, we went from an F0 to a D60. And we have taken, we've gotten rid of our uh, CSS message here. We have reduced our external JavaScripts from 33 down to 13 so we've cut that by 20 and uh, if you still want to play around with it you can go back to your your dashboard here uh, go back through the help wizard and continue to add more javascript files to the mix here you can also play around with where you want them embedded whether you want them in the head after the body tag or before the end body tag and by, by tweaking each one of these, you can continue to uh, play around with your performance. Just a side note, every time you change a setting, make sure you go back to your site to make sure that uh, you're not breaking anything. But at the end of the day, 
I am perfectly happy with these scores. I am ecstatic over the page speed score. The y, the y slow score, which was originally a 59, has, has gone all the way up to an 80. Uh, I, I don't need to tweak it anymore. I, I am good with this. So hopefully you found this helpful and it will give you a better understanding of the W3 Total Cash Minify settings. Feel free to subscribe. I post other videos on WordPress as well as AWS, and we'll be doing some cool things with, with AWS in, in the coming weeks.